This is baby Neosta. She's just one of millions being vaccinated every day thanks to the expanded program on immunization. 40 years ago, just 5% of the world's children were protected from the main diseases. Today, it's over 80%. In some countries, an amazing 99%. Every year, millions of lives are saved thanks to the pioneering work of the EPI. If you look at the history of infectious diseases, in terms of interventions that have just made an absolutely fundamental change in public health history, immunization, vaccines and immunization sit very firmly at the top. On the 8th of May, 1980, two men affixed their signatures to an historic document, the parchment bearing the official declaration of the end of smallpox. Smallpox eradication taught us many lessons to the public health practitioners that had been involved in that. It was in 1967 that the World Health Organization launched an intensified program to eradicate the disease. We found out that with mobile teams, many more vaccinations could be done per day than we'd ever expected. And in fact, we discovered that the average vaccinator in Africa could average 500 per day. They were thinking, if we did all this with smallpox, why can we not do with the utilization of other vaccines? In the hospital setting, the children that we saw were dying of measles, of TB. We saw polio. In the townships, we were still seeing measles and polio and cholera. And this was almost to be expected that young children were going to get these diseases and they were going to die. In our settings, they were dying from these diseases. Then the WHO prepared a document to establish a program that would be called the Expanded Program on Immunization with the aim to control other vaccine-preventable diseases by the expansion of the use of vaccines. And then the program started rolling. Diphtheria, whooping cough, tetanus, tuberculosis, measles and polio. Those were the first six vaccines. Within maybe five years, virtually all the developing countries were using all the six vaccines. The announcer tells of the government's expanded immunization program, which is also sponsored by the World Health Organization and SIDA. The voice from Accra tells them that inoculations will be given against such diseases as poliomyelitis, tuberculosis, pertussis and measles. In the early days it did founder a bit with no resources and, and little recognition. But by the time we started to train national managers, it just went like gangbusters. It was wonderful. In the region of the Americas, the last case of poliomyelitis was in 1991 in Peru. The last case of measles was in September 2002 in Colombia. The last case of rubella was in February of 2009 in Argentina. You can see that all the diseases became also eradicable. In the African region, we had about 34 countries with active transmission of uh, polio. Immuniser, c'est protéger vos enfants. By the time I left in 2001, there were only two countries left, from 34 to two. Immuniser, c'est protéger vos enfants. C'est le conseil que donne l'Organisation Mondiale de la Santé. There was no resistance to vaccine at all. In fact, there was enthusiasm for vaccine wherever we went. And even suggestion, where can I get it? When can I get it? When we adopted new technologies, everyone had them. You could travel to any country that you wanted and you saw the technologies being used. And there was a togetherness which I just value so much, not just within WHO, but most especially with other organizations, in particular UNICEF. We have new refrigerators, new coal boxes. We have time temperature indicators on vaccines that were never in existence before. 
and we created that really out of just nothing. The motivation of all health personnel goes hand in hand with that of the public. It is one of the main aspects of EPI. The EPI was actually alone in achieving five contacts in the first year of life. Um, that itself had an enormous impact on primary health care as a whole. The fact that the expanded program on immunization offers the opportunity not just to deliver a vertical program in immunization, but to reach out to deliver a package of services, it has really been key in getting uh, developing countries energized about public health. The children that are vaccinated perform better in the school because they are not stunted by diseases, you know, by being sick, by not attending school. Vaccine is the most cost-effective health intervention we have, which will impact not only the health of the nation, but the wealth of the nation. The challenge has been that there was no market. Uh, countries didn't have hard currency. They weren't able to predictably finance. We end up purchasing vaccines for 60% of the world's population. Now there's a stable market. Developing country manufacturers have entered that marketplace. So we're going to see a lot more healthy competition in the vaccine marketplace. It started out that the vaccine was being given from outside sources. But as time has gone on, it's now 98% is paid for by the countries themselves out of their own budgets. There is no better investment for improved health than vaccines. You go to any health center in any developing country, you'll find vaccines. You might not find much else, but you'll find vaccines. <laughs> The fact that we're looking for new vaccines and better vaccines and also continuing to challenge ourselves at a global level about doing things better, about global equity, about affordable drugs and affordable vaccines, I think those are really exciting things. If you look back, you know, the expanded program on immunization has been, uh, you know, the major global public health initiative ever in history. The impact of EPI remains extraordinary. You're getting more and more vaccines delivered. They are reaching the vast majority of kids now being born all over the world. And that program gets better and better as each year goes by. In finding new ways to secure more money, to getting multiple partners to work together according to shared yet flexible strategies. This innovative work provides guidance for reforms that move health systems towards universal coverage. Another worthy ambition for the future. Prevention is better than cure. We will soon have a malaria vaccine, for instance, unprecedented. We already have vaccines against diarrhea due to rotavirus. We have a newer vaccine against pneumococcal disease, pneumonia in children, and so on. So fantastic. All over the world, children such as these have been protected by immunization since birth. For we have learned how to prevent diseases which were still dangerous, if not fatal, not so long ago. We've come back from the vaccination, so now it's okay. Happy birthday, EPI.